Rook here, bringing you all the new abilities, updates, and changes coming to Dancer in Final Fantasy XIV's next expansion, Endwalker. A big thanks to Square Enix for letting me try out our new job gameplay during the 2021 media tour this year. And a reminder, all footage and information is not final and may be subject to change. This is especially true for jobs, which are additionally affected by the downscaling of the game's numerical values, so don't panic. It's hard to get a real sense of how these all come together without playing them in-game within the context of our new content and scaling. What's new for Dancer? Improvisation has been overhauled. New abilities have been added, including Improvised Finish, Talana, Fan Dance 4, and Starfall Dance, the new capstone ability. Let's get down to the details. If you'd like a more general summary of what's changed, skip ahead. The abilities on the screen remain unchanged in potency. The ability ending has been removed. Dancers will now end their dance with a partner by hitting closed position a second time. Cascade's potency has been reduced, going from 250 down to 180, a 28% nerf. Its additional effect, 50% chance of granting Flourishing Cascade, has been renamed from Flourishing Cascade to Flourishing Symmetry, and the duration has been extended, going from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Fountain's damage has been taken down from 300 to 240, a 20% decrease. Its combo bonus, 50% chance of granting Flourishing Fountain, has also been renamed, going from Flourishing Fountain to Flourishing Flow, and extending the duration from 20 seconds up to 30 seconds. Windmill's potency has been reduced, from 150 to 100, a 33% nerf. Its additional effect has been changed, granting a 50% chance of getting Flourishing Symmetry, and upping the duration from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Standard Finish's damage has been reduced from 500 down to 360, a 28% potency decrease. Its additional step damages have likewise been reduced, taking one step from 750 down to 540, and two steps from 1000 down to 720, also 28% nerfs. Reverse Cascade has been nerfed from 300 down to 240, a 20% decrease. It can also only be executed now while under the effects of Flourishing Symmetry. Blade Shower has dropped from 200 to 140, a 30% nerf. Fan Dance remains the same, but has a new additional effect, a 50% chance of granting threefold Fan Dance, a name changed from the previous Flourishing Fan Dance. Its duration is also increased from 20 seconds up to 30 seconds. Rising Windmill's damage has been taken down from 300 to 140, a 53% nerf. But the ability now deals full damage to additional targets as opposed to the 50% reduction it used to have. Additionally, Rising Windmill now changes to Jeté while dancing. Fountainfall's potency has also been taken down from 350 to 300, a 14% decrease. Fountainfall itself can now only be executed while under the effect Flourishing Flow. Blood Shower's potency has dropped from 350 down to 180, a 49% nerf, but it now deals full damage to additional targets, no longer dealing high base damage to initial target than dropping off with additional ones. This can also only be executed while under the effect of Flourishing Flow. Blood Shower changes to Pirouette when dancing. Fan Dance 2's additional effect now gives a 50% chance of getting threefold Fan Dance, a change from the previously named Flourishing Fan Dance. Its duration has been extended to 30 seconds, up from Shadowbringer's 20 seconds. Shield Samba's recast time has been reduced by 30 seconds, a 25% buff. Devil Maw has a new additional effect, granting Flourishing Starfall for 30 seconds. This enables execution of the new capstone ability, Starfall Dance. Technical Step's base potency has been reduced, going from 500 to 350, a 30% nerf. Its additional step potencies have been reduced by 28%, taking the maximum 4-step damage down from 1,500 to 1,080. As of level 82, this action will change to Talana upon execution. Flourish's description has been adjusted, now granting you the effects of Flourishing Symmetry, Flourishing Flow, Threefold Fan Dance, and Fourfold Fan Dance. 
the weapon skill Saber Dance has been reduced, being taken down from 600 potency to 480, a 20% nerf. Improvisation has been overhauled into a support skill. Dance to the beat of your own drum, granting rising rhythm to self. Stacks increase every 3 seconds up to a maximum of 4, with an additional effect, healing over time for self and nearby party members, with a cure potency of 100 and a duration of 15 seconds. This effect ends upon using another action or moving, including facing a different direction. This cancels auto attack upon execution. While improvisation is active, the icon will switch to the new ability Improvised Finish. When hit a second time, Improvised Finish will create a barrier around self and all nearby party members. Damage absorbed increases with stacks of Rising Rhythm. Zero stacks gives 5% of max HP. One stack, 6%. 2 stacks, 7%, 3 stacks, 8%, and 4 stacks, 10%, with a duration of 30 seconds. This can only be executed while improvisation is active. Talana is a new ability that takes over the icon of Technical Step upon its completion. This delivers an attack to all nearby enemies with a potency of 360 for the first enemy and 50% less for all remaining enemies. Its additional effect grants standard finish and a spree to self and designated dance partner. Standard Finish's effect increases damage dealt by 5% with a duration for 60 seconds. Essentially, this stacks damage up buffs from both of the different step moves. Combined with the maximum possible technical finish buff, this could be up to a 10% damage increase while the two buffs are stacked, which would last 20 seconds while they overlapped. Fandance 4 is an additional Fandance that delivers an attack to all enemies in a cone before you with a potency of 300 for the first enemy and 50% less for all remaining enemies. This can only be executed while under the effect of fourfold fan dance. And finally, the new capstone ability, Starfall Dance. This delivers a critical direct hit to all enemies in a straight line before you, with a potency of 600 for the first enemy and 75% less for all remaining enemies. This can only be executed while under the effect of flourishing Starfall, which comes from using Devil Maul. Overall, how's Dancer looking then? So, having the numbers is great and all, but I'm sure many of you are wondering, what does it mean? A great deal of Dancer's abilities and procs were given new names, such as changing the effect called Flourishing Fountain to Flourishing Flow. This change has allowed these procs to be more generally grouped together. Cascade and Windmill, for example, both now have a 50% chance of granting Flourishing Flow, which enables the use of Reverse Cascade and Rising Windmill. Really, your buttons will still light up just like they always do, the names of the behind-the-scenes effects that make them light up will just be changing, and in some cases you'll proc two abilities instead of one. Improvisation has been reworked, and now heals you and your party over time while granting stacks of Rising Rhythm. When you use Improvised Finish, it'll give the party a barrier proportional to the stacks you gained while dancing, but you can't move while gaining the stacks. Tilana swaps the icon of Technical Step after its completion, Hitting it does AoE damage and buffs yourself plus your dance partner by 5%. This stacks for 20 seconds on top of the buff already given by Technical Finish, giving you a maximum 10% damage up buff. Devil Maw is what triggers the new Phoenix Swoop Starfall Dance when you unlock it at level 90. Much like Bard, Dancer saw potency nerfs across the board for most damage abilities. I can only guess that this has to do with the downscaling effect and isn't an actual reflection of the class's future performance. The new utilities and abilities Dancer has in store for Endwalker continue to build on the qualities many players already love about the class. Personally, I also feel like the reworks and additions nicely dovetail into Dancer's playstyle, taking a good thing and just making it better. But Dancer wasn't the only job I was able to play. Find my nine other job summaries here on YouTube, including the Summoner rework and our new classes Reaper and Sage. If you're interested in lore, give my old Charlie and Garlemald and Thavnire tour videos a watch to get a sneak peek into the meanings behind our new maps. And of course, where would we be without content and glamour? New dungeon info and artifact gear previews are also on that list. Stand tall, my friends. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Try out Dancer for yourself in Final Fantasy XIV's upcoming expansion, Endwalker releasing November 23rd, 2021, with early access starting November 19th.